In this video, I'm going to be sharing one of the most useful features about Jupyter Notebooks that you can use to boost your productivity, magic commands. Magic commands are special commands that provide additional functionality within the Jupyter environment. These commands start with either a single percent sign for single line magic or a double percent sign for cell magic. To see how these commands work and why they're useful, let's look at an example. So here I have a new notebook and I've added a function called sumn that sums the first n positive integers. Now let's say we want to know how fast this function runs. Typically more junior devs do this by importing the time module, encasing the function with time.time .time around the function, and then printing this out. That works, but by using the time magic command, we can actually get the same result without writing any additional code. All we need to do is type percent time, call the function, and we'll see the time it takes to run printed out. Now, let's say we wanted to take this example a step further and add a couple more function calls. And now we want to time the whole cell and not just a single line. We can achieve this by using the cell variant of the time command. Just use 2% signs instead of one add the command at the top of the cell, and now we'll get the time it takes for all of the code in the cell to execute. Given that we've talked a bit about the magic commands and demonstrated an example of how to use them, let me share with you two more commands that I use quite often, timeit and history. Let's start by talking about the timeit command. This command is pretty similar to time, except that it'll run multiple trials and give back the average time it took over all of these runs. So here, if I run the same example from earlier with time it, we'll see it run many trials and also get the sampling mean and standard deviation of the time it took to do each run. Personally, I find this command gives a lot more accurate results than just the time command since it's averaging uh, helps reduce any noise there might be in the timing estimates. This can be especially important if you're benchmarking really fast functions. Finally, another magic command I found very useful is the history command. Running this command will show you everything you've run so far even if you've already deleted the code for it within your session. To see what I mean, let's say we define a function g of x that returns x plus 5, and I go ahead and run it. Next, let's say I rewrite this function so that it instead returns x plus 15. The old function is seemingly gone, but if I run the history command, we'll see both of the functions and we can grab the one we had before. Today, we've gone over three magic commands, but these actually aren't the only ones out there. There's also a command that lets you dump cell text into a file, a magic command to inline matplotlib plots, and many more. In fact, you can find a whole list of magic commands to explore by using the quick ref and magic magic commands themselves. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to stay tuned for more useful programming tips.